Hey, howdy guys, Nintendo Capri's out here, can you guess where I am right now? How many times did I get away with that same stupid intro? It is kind of fun, though. You know, to try to look around for obscure spots where nobody goes in the game and then just show myself in those spots. Kind of throw you off a little bit to be like, wait a minute, where is he? If I do that even once, then I have succeeded. However, oh great. Oh, I guess we get to face off against some bats. Otherwise, we can cap them before they get a chance to take off. Which is a preferred method of dispatching them. So there's one. There's two. Uh, there's three. Slowly, slowly. Bam. Okay, and number four is behind me. I believe. Might not be. Well, let's just uh, move around a little bit. Maybe he'll come out. Come out, come out wherever you are. Maybe he was over here hanging with his friend. This this isn't creepy at all, man. All these dead bodies down here. I mean, don't they put these people in coffins or something? Huh. This is definitely weird. Was the other one back by the entrance? Oh, yeah. Wait, where, where is he? Dude, there he is. I didn't see you earlier. Oh, my God. Well, there's a very valuable half a heart wasted on that guy. <laughs> but hopefully we can kind of skitter through the middle of this and maybe avoid any unwanted, you know, crap. So, there they are. On both sides here. But, if we just run down the middle, we can avoid a fiery fate. He's right next to me. Sorry, Link. Um, trust me, you gotta believe me when I say this is better than the alternative. Alright. Thank goodness there's not like two more of them in here. Check. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising, the rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun. Give peaceful rest to the living dead. You know, I never understood that line, a newborn's life will fade. I mean, really? So a baby old's gonna die? I mean, really? I don't know, dude. Keep the sun song in your heart. One of the few songs that carried over to Major A's mask. And a very useful one at that. Actually, wait a minute, this song didn't carry over. I remember playing it in Majora's Mask, but I think it's because it was one of the songs on the wall. On the uh, north side. Sometimes you see a song on the wall. And I believe one day when I was playing, it was actually the sun's song was on the wall. I don't remember it. I, why, why don't I remember that? We can use the sun song. Because what, what I'm trying to remember is where he would have learned it. Anyway. Just to make this room a little safer to get through, we will play the sun song. So that way we don't get all butt hurt. Let's make our way through here. I don't know if there's like a time limit on this. I hope not. I don't think there actually is. It might be worth experimenting with that someday, but now is not really the time. So we got the sun song, we got the shield, and things are looking up. Things are looking up. My nose went after I said things are looking up. I think I'm a little stuffy tonight. Sorry if that's uh, coming through on the mic. I don't think it will too much, though. <clears throat> it comes through more when I'm whispering. So I can hear it then. Kakariko Village. Oh, and look who it is, Mrs. Armpit Lady. Just gonna start right off by... That did go in, didn't it? Negative. Negative, it didn't go in. Just to make sure we've, uh... 
actually activated the quest because I don't know, man. Yeah, so this is one of those side quests that more or less takes a while and may end up taking the Majora T. See what I did there? <laughs> the Majora T of this video to do. Anyway. So first things first, we gotta find a way to get over there where I was just trying to jump just now. Because I screwed it up. But I think if you're carrying a Cucko or Kuko, whatever it is, you can actually make it, but not 100 percent sure about this. This is one of those things that like, wow, like what what in the world do you say? while you're doing something like this. Huh? Ah, oh, we made it, alright. So you, get back over there, I'm done with you. No use for you ever again. <laughs> I was like laughing. <laughs> Actually, maybe that is somebody laughing. I always thought that was the chicken. But it would make sense that for that to be those guys over by the tree. Oh, that's really weird to imagine that that's a person. I just always pictured it as a chicken. Like, buck, 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 buck. Uh. That's really weird. Manny laughs a lot. Stop laughing, dude. You're creeping me out. Since nobody goes up here ever, I'm going to go up here and look. Check out the scene. Can't get into first person. I want to see what's back there, man. What's down there? You know? It's actually a walkway. Oh, that's the walkway to the graveyard, though. Well, that's what's back there. The graveyard is back there. Duh. Oh my gosh, man. As long as I have this Kugo in my possession, I should probably go ahead and use it to get this guy over here, so we don't forget to do that later. This one's real easy to forget. Pick him up, dude. Pick it up. Pick up that cuck. Alright. Well, there's number two. That took a forever and a day. Number three won't take long at all, because it just happened to be right there. Number four is right down here. These cuckoos are getting very agitated, I can tell. There's one over here. He's pretty soon be playing that mini game with Mario. You know, Epona's song is actually another song you can get through this game without playing. Because Epona is not even actually required, I don't think. I don't think you ever have to use her at any point. Like, you use her across the bridge in Gerudo Valley, but if you don't go there before the water temple, then you can just use the long shot to cross. So technically, you don't ever need Epona in the game. You do a three heart Epona, no Epona run. That would be instaking, painstakingly boring, though, I imagine. Okay, is that, what is that, six? Can't be all of them because I know there's one more over here. So you go get this. Man, those guys are just laughing their asses off. Man, I love floating. Oh, it's float, float, float. Feels so good, man. Feels so good to not put weight on these beleaguered feet of mine. There. Is that all of them? Thank you for finding my cucos. I have allergies. So I get used bones when I touch them. How did I ever end up in this job anyway? Hmm. Please take good care of it. Alright. You got an empty bottle. Whatever. Say hi to cafe for me. Now, what else have we got to do in this town? In this joint? 
Not that much, really. I mean, we got all the, we got the bottle, which is really the one big thing that I, I mean, that's the only side thing I really wanted to get was the bottles. I'm not gonna go for the fourth one because that one's just pfft, I don't even bother. You know what? I'm not gonna do this because I was gonna show you like again how to get that hard piece early, even though I wasn't gonna talk to the guy and actually pick it up. But then the thought crossed my mind, well, you know, I could take fall damage and end up killing myself here. So, there you go, dude. Oh, this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm, okay. This is shut up. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? The fact that he says now there, I love that. Because that one word tells an entire story. The fact that he says now indicates that she's done it before. Which means she's probably always coming up with little pranks and stuff. But if she is, how would he know that? Unless those... I mean, I'd love to know what some of these pranks are that she's been pulling. Does that just make her a more interesting character? Dude, I have a... Well, I do have a proper tool. I don't have it equipped. But maybe that's because I am not in a need. Not in a need. Um. Whatever. Oh, this guy's dialogue just goes on forever. Mm, no, 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 no. He just wants to know about that silly mask in the mask shop. And of course, that's yet another thing I probably won't do. Trying to think, what do you actually get for that besides rupees? You eventually get the bunny hood and a whole bunch of rupees, but... Um, well, shoot. Sigh. Less sigh. Le freak. <laughs> no, not really. So, we're gonna have to watch our step as we come up this thing. It's way too easy to, uh forget what we're doing here. So the action starts yet again as we make our way up the mountain. Tektites aren't really a problem. They're easy enough to avoid. As long as you know when they are and when they're coming. Just watch out for the fallen rocks, which will come into play very shortly here. We're good. All right. I was expecting some there, but I guess not. There is the one Goron up here, though. Oh, uh, which way is he going? Which way are you going, dude? Dude. Oh, and possibly my favorite part of the entire world in this game. Right here. This just, I like this. I like how it's, dude. I know. I like how it's like, covered overhead to protect from the elements, yet it's also, like, outside. It just has this great view. Well, I mean, it's a, N64 doesn't make it look that great, but, you know, it's got this little thing up here where you can hang out and pick up rocks, throw them, get yourself a workout. Hey, that turned out to be a good idea. Alright. I was actually kind of hoping there'd be hearts in one of those. <laughs> I wasn't holding out very much hope, but, you know, it worked out for the best. Alright, now we gotta find the safest way to get to the bottom of this without people fall damage here, so. Nope. Just jumped onto a wooden plank that was the same height as where I just was. Okay, we're gonna need to light some torches here. Which means... Let me see here. How do you do that again? Wait a second. You don't have to light torches. That's just to make the vases spin. Yeah. Alright, time to play music. Oh man, I gotta stop this video pretty soon here. Should we watch the Goron dance? No, no, no. I gotta click it there. 
It's too good, man. Too good. See you guys next time. Uh, let's play Ocarina of Time.